It will probably come as very little surprise to you that I love moss. Its emerald green color, its incredible forms, the way it can make any surface beautiful by wrapping it in living velvet. It just does something magical to my brain with its soft, soft texture. But recreating its perfect habitat indoors can be tricky, but is by no means impossible. Here are my secrets for creating beautiful indoor moss gardens that anyone can do. Getting the right variety is key. This one, Leucobrium glaucum, is far and away the easiest. It's native to across the Northern Hemisphere, but is weirdly also found on a few tropical mountain tops too, which makes it super adaptable and resilient. I get mine online from a nursery that specializes in rare terrarium plants, Araflora in the Netherlands. Cushion moss costs less than 20 quid for a packet like this, which makes it not just one of the easiest species, but the most affordable too. It comes dry, but all you need to do to spark it to life is a dunk in some water. This species has evolved to become a sort of living sponge, so it will soak it all up in less than five minutes. Now squeeze out as much excess water as you can to leave the moss moist, but not wet. I like to brush the surface with my fingertips to remove any dead leaves or dust. This isn't just for appearance, but will help the moss grow. It's fiddly, but surprisingly therapeutic. If you want to, you can also trim off a good proportion of the dead brown fibers beneath the green surface. Mosses, spongy tissues, mean they don't have roots. They just don't need them to absorb water. This isn't an essential step, as some people love the rounded cobblestone shapes they make naturally. However, trimming this off and removing it means the moss cushions can be turned into flat sheets, a living carpet to adapt to the contours of your design. Sealed in a closed terrarium, they'll have the perfectly even humidity they crave. But you have to keep a lid on it for that to work. I've made a hole in this one for aeration, giving you the best of both worlds. I grow mine under IKEA LED grow lights. They give them the perfect spectrum of light that they need for growth but a bright, cool windowsill would work well too. The best bit is, this drought-resistant moss will tell you when it needs watering. When it turns pale yellow, give it a quick spritz and you're good to go. That really is all there is to it. If you fancy giving it a go, here's its Latin name again and a website where you can source it. Good luck and have fun.